Florence 2 is an advanced vision foundation model developed by Microsoft. I have discussed this model on my AI business channel, which primarily covers AI business software and large language models. In this channel, I talked about these AI models last week. Briefly, I can describe Florence 2 as another image-to-text prompt large language model trained with a large data set, FLD5B. It now has comfy UI custom nodes available, and there are two custom nodes that connect to it. One is the KJ version, which simplifies the workflow using two custom nodes. With this version, you can see the segmentations, captionings, and bounding boxes. The other is the Space PXL version of Custom Node Package, also connect to Florence 2, in Comfy UI, allowing you to perform segmentations, image captioning, and object detection as well. I will demonstrate both of these in this video. It's quite easy to use, but you need to take some time to install the language model Florence 2. The KJ node author who created the Florence 2 custom node made it very user-friendly. It's simple to connect by just using two custom nodes and integrating them into your workflow. The SpacePexL author's version offers more features for connecting with your workflow. I will be testing these two first, but we need to install them. The first one we are going to try out is the KJ custom nodes in Comfy UI. You can go to the Comfy UI manager, search for these custom nodes, click install, and wait for the downloads. Meanwhile, it will show the installation successful message after the download is complete. Click the restart button and you will have the new custom nodes ready in your Comfy UI. Wait for it while it is reconnecting. The Comfy UI is restarting right now and we have successfully loaded back into Comfy UI. As you can see, the custom nodes in Comfy UI can be accessed via the right-click menu. You will see the Florence 2 items in the right-click menu bar. There are two nodes, one to download and load the Florence 2 model. Here, you can choose the model type. You have the Florence 2 base model, Florence 2 base fine-tuned, and the large and large fine-tuned models. In the Hugging Face model card, as you can see in the tables, it shows the four variants of Florence 2, which are the base, large, and two fine-tuned models for base and large. You can download these manually from Hugging Face, or you can load this custom node, and it will download the Florence 2 model files the first time it runs. Let's go back to Comfy UI. In this scenario, I will select the Florence 2 that is going to be running for the KJ node Florence 2 examples here. So, drag the other output nodes, which are for running the Florence 2 called Florence 2 Run. Now, once we connect the Florence 2 models with the Florence 2 Run custom nodes, we basically do an image input on the input parameters. We can select a load image on this side and the output of the image and mask. We can select preview image for the output and mask preview for whatever it does in the segmentations, image captioning or object detections. The last one is the captions. We can skip that for a moment because we have a lot of display text that we can use for showing the captioning of an image. Of course, you can use any text display nodes here. For example, I'm using the if display text. Let's choose an image. Right here, I have my example image which is the Volkswagen van in the forest in the springtime, with flowers. Everything is beautiful. So we can test this out right here. I found something different with their demos shown on the GitHub page. As you can see, for the input text, you can just type elements in here. For example, I type van, and you can choose a task for the large language models to do object detection, captioning, caption to phrase grounding, or just using the large language models to do region captions to show a text prompt for detailed descriptions about the image. You have to choose wisely for the task, otherwise you will get an error because different tasks have different objectives. You don't need the input text here. The first time it runs, it will take a while. As you can see in the command prompt window, it will be loading in the middle of the progress bar and will start downloading the Florence 2 large language model in the back end of Comfy UI. So wait for that, don't touch anything in the meantime. You can also download the Florence 2 model files manually, which cost about 1.9 gigabytes.
The first run, I got an error because the text input prompt only supports reference expression segmentations and caption to grounding, so we have to try it out again. You see, this is not the way to use the task options and you have to choose wisely. Using this test, we are identifying objects and segmenting in those regions when we choose the region captions. Let's try the wheels again. As you can see, once we input any text prompt here, it shows an error. So the input text is not for every task option in these custom nodes. When you are using captioning or object detection, you don't use the text input because the captioning will output the text. For example, I have detailed captioning of this image. Here, it shows a vintage Volkswagen bus parked in the forest with detailed descriptions of every element in this AI image. It doesn't require input text here. I think the design of these custom nodes needs to be improved for a more intuitive user experience. As you can see, Florence 2 uses a very large dataset for training, creating very accurate and detailed text descriptions for any elements included in the AI image. I think this will be the future in AI image or AI video generation, as we can define many things using text by just inputting an image. In this example, this is the caption to phrase grounding. It shows the bounding box data of the locations in this image. So, there you have it. This is the KJ Nodes Florence 2 Comfy UI custom node package. The next one we are going to test is the Space PXL Authors Florence 2 custom node package for Comfy UI. So, hop into the Space PXL version of Comfy UI Florence 2 custom nodes. We can again go to the Comfy UI Manager and download these custom nodes. Once you paste this custom node's name in the Comfy UI Manager, you will see the result. I have already downloaded this, so I don't need to download it again. Once you load the workflow, you will see their example workflow here. I got various example workflows from the GitHub page. I just replicated what they did here and tried out these custom nodes because I see there are more options in this custom node package. You can do more various things with this package and their labeling is personally more clear by using different custom nodes to diversify each feature and function. We can use Florence 2 as the visual large language model that incorporates text. The download area for this package's custom nodes is inside this subfolder. It will be downloaded automatically the first time you use these custom nodes when it doesn't have the model files in the subfolder. So be aware of that. The names are almost the same. We have two custom nodes pack for Florence 2. These are two different custom node packages. Personally, I prefer the SpacePXL version because it has a more options and input offers more separate custom nodes that I can incorporate into my workflow. Here are my examples. I have segmented the t-shirt and there we have the bounding box to highlight the t-shirt in this AI image. The input tags are quite easy to understand in this case. For example, if I want to segment the monitor, it will run and help me highlight the areas of the computer monitor in this AI image. It's very easy to do segmentations using this method and it is much faster than using Coco segmentations and segment anything. You can see there's more information and data provided by Florence 2 because it is a large language model that can contain more detailed data compared to using Coco segmentations or Ultralytics. Those are going to provide simpler data outputs. However, when we use large language models like this one, we get more advanced and detailed data, allowing us to incorporate AI image and large language models working together. Let's try this example. This is a keyboard. There you go, we got the keyboard and the show text is able to highlight the bounding box locations. This is the area that is highlighted and we got the show text again here. This is the location log of the keyboard area, the regions in this AI image. So you can use these custom nodes in combination with large language models like Florence 2 working together with Stable Diffusion's AI image or any comfy UI workflow that you have in your comfy UI. However, you have to be aware of what you are doing when using large language models like this. For example, captioning will always result in some errors if you input incorrect text in the input text prompt, such as index out of range errors. This is another error you will face if you do not create your workflow carefully. Here, this is an error from the text locations because it doesn't have the locations for the captioning right. 
we got the whole image as the detailed captioning. Therefore, we are only showing the text in this text prompt area and also the text output as a string here. Yes, the data type is string, so here is the text prompt output of the captioning for this image. Let's try object detection. This is pretty cool. We can do auto object detections here. It has a really fast loading time. I don't even have to wait for a second. Once we load up the large language models, it shows all the objects it is able to detect in an AI image, highlighting everything in a bounding box and showing all the bounding box locations here. Let's try some other things. Let's go back to the Volkswagen image and use this custom node package for that. I believe it will provide better performance using this custom node pack. There you go. We got the van and two wheels. One more thing is the region segmentations. This is what I usually use for the AI videos to videos workflow. You can detect areas for segmentations and it is able to do that as well in this workflow using Florence 2. I will be trying out using this large language model and working with AI animations and images. Let's see what kind of ideas it will bring us for better performance or a better way of using Comfy UI workflows incorporating large language models like this. Here, we have the captioning of this AI image. It is able to tell us the color of the van, its location in the middle of a forest, etc. This is very similar to what we got in the JK Notes Florence 2 custom node pack. This one has even more detailed descriptions in dense regions. It identified the VW bus and two wheels. All captioning is along with the bounding box. So, it is able to detect the Volkswagen brand and also detect the two wheels. Again, these are the segmentations and there are many options you can play around with. Just choose the right captions or test the object objective to run and you are good to go. This one actually runs pretty fast. It's faster than the Coco segmentations and other segmentations. Custom nodes in Comfy UI. I think I will try this with my existing workflows, such as videos to videos or any AI image workflows that require segmentations. I will try integrating Florence 2 into them, and I hope this inspires you. I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.